Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you're doing great. Kashas are back with another excited video. So, today, uh, this is a really, really big update from the Maxon Sanma 4D. So, as you know, uh, if you want to create, uh, before, if you want to create anything like fire or smoke simulation, you need to use third party renderer or other software. So, what Sanma 4D does uh, recently, they just uh gives you a paro i don't know how to pronounce it paro p y r o system where you can simulate your fire and smoke inside the sanma 4d without choosing any plugin but there is one downside of this uh, you need to have a third engine third party render engine like redshift octane or arnold for render this so let's take a look so what we get here so let's create our any object for using this as a source for our fire so like that uh, okay we're going to use this here just make it a little bit smaller okay now when you right click on uh, right click on sphere and in simulation tab there you find new effect like pyro uh, pyro pyro fuel pyro fuel i don't know how to pronounce it so just click add a pyro <coughs> a pyro tag on it so as you can see here they automatically add pyro layer so first of all uh, you must have sanma 4d 2023.1 so make sure you just update your sanma 4d for getting this effect uh, San, in Sanma 4D 2023.0.1 you don't find it so m you make sure you just update your Sanma 4D so let's hit play by default setting so I didn't use it but I just check it so it's looked really powerful and awesomely fast and w what you can do here there is a lot of possibilities because it's also work with these all forces so that's really give it's too much strength uh, and in forces you can choose what uh, field so that's really powerful now so as you can see here it's pretty low resolution so let's take a look what we get inside and what kind of settings here so if we click on pyro default so there is first uh, object tab so in object tab you can just turn on the uh what we say turn on the object properties like if you don't want to uh simulate density just click on off off or just you want to uh export this just click on, on export or if you want to render it on like redshift or you just click on on so it's create a physical vdb on your viewport so that's what i mean so let's take a look what else we got here so here is a pyro tab so there is all settings first of all voxel size you just change it for the resolution just add three i don't go down below three because i'm using my laptop so as you can see here so it's already really give them some more resolution so next thing where we have here there is a, f a fluid force factor Substan I don't uh, recently check this all so in future I will create some tutorial with really really some kind of uh, cool scenes so we just take a look what we get inside this uh, right now so here is subs uh, subtraps for giving the subsurface VN so it's work like subsurface VN uh, sub VN surface so just give them more resolution so we don't need that and there is a tree setting i don't know what is that so you just change it from voxel count from 16 to 32 so let's check what this does and okay so let's make it a little slower and give them more resolution yeah i see that so but we just use uh, 16 so okay so there is a general density so it's all forces like how bouncy your what we say uh, smoke and temperature and vorticity 
set length everything so let's check so we just change it to from minus 5 to minus 10 so let's see what's going on there so yeah now your smoke go more up so that's what it does let's play around with temperature buoyancy so just add one so let's see what's happen okay so okay they give the more bouncy buoyancy but uh, okay so let's just reset that reset to default we are good with the with the default setting and there is a trans just change it to 20 just make sure you just play around this setting that just increase it really high and decrease it really low so you can see the effects worth these thing uh, as you can see here you can see more turbulence and what we say more disturbing uh, simulation by adding this one so we just change it to a 5 we don't need that really too much and next thing we have here turbulence so let's add 50 so let's see what kind of turbulence they get okay so as you can see here but that's too much let's say 5 and initial scale to 10 10 10 let's see what's happen okay 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 so let's change it to 333 three, three. okay that's looking more great but that's not what we want we just reset to default everything because we're going to use forces so okay that's looking great so fuel burning rate so it's f uh, about fuel so relative density dissipation relative temperature dissipation let's see what's happened with that let's add 100 percent so let's see what's going on with that that okay okay we get, i can understand what's going on so it gives more power to temperature so that's let's say we give them 10 and we give more dissipation to temperature like let's see what's going on there okay so as you can see here something uh, we we'll just change it to a seven okay that's looking good for me so let's create so uh next thing uh i will show you so this fire effect you can use a collider so as you can see here if you go on simulator just add a collider on your so we going to use this sphere as a collider so let me show you what i mean here let's hit play so if we just take it there so as you can see here so our sphere affecting it that's pretty cool so let's see if you just move our sphere so that's looking really cool uh, by the way so so there is a two kind of object voxel size so we just increase this one to two so it give them more resolution so as you can see here it's now looking really good okay As you can see here, it's going something going here, going on. So let's create something with this 
so we just close it and add some text let's see what we're gonna create here so let's say we just type c4d okay let's give them more little bit okay this give them a little bit spacing and we're going to use this uh, as our source of fire so now we just add simple simulation and add a paddle or let's say first we try it with fuel so let's add fuel and we create our sphere as a fire simulation so we're going to use this uh, sphere to light it up light uh, uh, light for putting our c4d text on fire so let me show you how we can do that so if we just do it like that let's animate our sphere and from here to there we just like do that so now we just add a simulation tag on it pyro so now if we hit play let's see what's going on so as you can see here uh, you can't see anything on our text right now because we going to use it as a fuel when it's uh, hit with fire so it's going to fire it up so let me show you what I mean here so as you can see here as it hit our text so it's going to blow it up but I don't uh, okay that's too much so let's little bit let's take it down a bit so it's too high so in fuel so here is our fuel and set to a timer let's change it to a let's say one so let's see what's going on there and change our voxel size to two would give them more resolution now if we hit play so let's see what's happened okay now it's okay it's uh, still too high so how to fix that let me sh see first of all just change it to a two also as well and in pyro we just change it to a three so if we go down here so there is a fuel burning rates so let's change this one to two and okay first of all two two and let's change it to 1000 combustion so if we hit player so let's see what's happening yes yeah something going on but as you can see here we still see a lot of smoke going on so we also need to change some kind of smoke setting so i think we just go back in our this field and go here in view okay and in density subsurface thickness and change it to a 20 to 1 let's see what's happened now yeah it's going more slow now let's change our setting from there okay well, we just make it default so let's hit play now so 
so as you can see here now we'll see more cool looking effect going on so so there is some settings so we just don't talk about them because uh, I'm just uh, making this video for showing you a new features of them a uh, new feature of Sanma 4d so it's really really big deal now so before uh, if you want to uh, simulate any kind of smog and you need really really expensive plugin like turbulence FT or you need to use some third-party software like blender so even blender has a uh, fire simulation and smog after a really long time so somehow they decide to give you this feature so in really really expensive price because Sanma 4D is really really expensive so they must have this really uh, before so but so it's good start so it's really really good and uh, what I say uh, and really powerful what I and assume it's really powerful because it's also work with all kind of forces and force field and fields and vertex map everything you imagine inside the Sanma 4D so let's do something else so we're going to test it with our forces so let's delete our sphere here and delete this tag also and add simulate pair of not fuel tag this time we just add paro and now let's re-simulate it if we click on render so as you can see here something going on so so that's not what we want so we just turn off the text so you can see what's going on so go back in pyro and we just change a bit setting uh, setting the ball bouncy so we just uh, give them temperature bounces to zero and and if we hit play so as you can see here now we have still fire on the object so let's little bit change something more changing here so that's looking good so we add one force called turbulence so let's make it really really high like 1000 and scale 200 so trend 1000 and uh, if we hit play so that's really working but we need to we don't want that we're going to use some field or give them more good effect and increase also the trench to 2000 for seeing the more cool looking turbulence so that's looking great so now what we're gonna do here we just add click on field in turbulence and add linear field and in linear which we just turn on the this thing and let's animate our linear field from here to there and like this one okay or we just put it up like that so let's see what we get here so if we hit play so as you can see here our turbulence is not affecting it yet but when our fall of hit So let's see. Yeah, now as you can see here, so you see turbulence uh, force affecting our fire simulation. So that's really powerful. So in future, uh, I try to use in my project. So and let you know what kind of stuff you can do with that. So. okay that's too much so as you can see here so let's try to render this 
so how we can do that so I'm using going to use Arnold and I also show you how you can render it from the viewport so let's add some uh, first open Arnold IPR window and let's add Arnold light first we just stop it and add some camera let's make a little really slow right now I don't know why but it's going really really slow so let's add some Arnold light here so let's add Arnold point light we're going to use point lights so let's say one here one there and go okay we don't see our simulation yet. what the heck is that oh make sure you can catch uh, make catch your all scene otherwise it's uh, every time it disappear when you go on I don't know it's, uh, it's a glitch some kind of glitch or just happening with me so let's okay Okay, don't worry about VRAM. Virtual RAM is okay, that's looking good. So, okay now we, i don't know why but from the back side is look more more good from the front side it is torn looking that attractive so let's add these two light and make it duplicate and put it back on that so just turn on our camera and open arnold ipr window let's see if we see something or not okay make sure uh, let me show you what I mean here. So if we just add uh, right click and where we have our extension Sanma 4D Arnold parameters and let's give them as you can see here you see nothing because we need to turn on one more thing from the pyro uh, tab. So let me show you in later. So let's add this okay click on pyro I uh, in the beginning I will tell uh, I also told you before in object tab if you want to render it uh, this all uh, effect you just make sure you turn on this turn on density texture and this one also so what it does as you can see here you can also see one more thing going on if you click on pyro and take it out so now there is a two object so as you can see here because this is a, a volume mesh so which is going to render so, so let's render it you don't see anything because we need to increase the power of the light so let's give them 10 because it's too low when we do that so let's see if we see something or not we still don't see anything let's apply our material on it okay that's weird so what's going on let's give them more kind of power like 100 okay now you can see something going on there because i don't know why is arnold light is so less uh, we need to give them really really crazy amounts so that's looking great so let's turn on the temperature as you can see here my com laptop is burning right now so let's add temperature channel instead of oh i don't know what's going on because there is a lot of stuff going on my in my viewport so 
let's change this oh my god e2 tam re sure i don't know so as you can see here now you can see some thing going on but we go don't going to use this arnold because it slowed on all my laptop i'm also using uh recording the screen that's why maybe let's stop it um maybe i can release now just yes now it's good so we just delete everything for arnold and we also turn off these one just press on export because it's also give you really hard time because it's you can generate two kind of uh, volume mesh so you can also export it as a vdv so that's really amazing so you can use anywhere after or whenever you want so that's really fun so let's uh, give them more good sh uh, more good look let's see we need this kind of we say this new so we just turn on some features so we just going to use the for render for this so we just turn on magic bullet shadows and what else tessellation depth of field we just turn on everything okay now next thing we just change the settings for uh, give them more uh, good looking uh, make them more good looking in the viewport so we just go down and here is some options you can smooth the smoke and fire you can add more uh, quality so let's if 75 percent and give them 100 percent sure and you can increase the density let's give them five as you can see here but five is too much let's point one and change the color of the smoke Changing from there, so I think we need to find something here. So let's see. Let's give them more. They are looking much. Make it a little bit smoother. Make we going to use this smooth factor. So we just add ten percent, ten percent, and ten percent. Let's see what we get. We need to re-simulate it for after that as you can see already see so there is something going on when we activate this smoothing effect so let's see how it's look now yeah they just smooth everything down that's now it's look more good Okay, that's looking great. So we just let's view from the back side. I don't know why, but that's looking more good to me. So, so let's add magic pillars for give them more magic look. So just open it. It's really powerful. I love this because it's just blend everything in your scene so give them really good look so in custom look let's see what we have here so we're going to use something really like this one that's looking really great but it's a little bit darker so let's see we just add more exposure to that and 
okay that's looking good for me so as you can see here it's already looking really awesome so mm, that's looking great so as you can see here that's not really high resolution you can increase the resolution from changing these voxel size it's depend on your pc or your laptop what uh, what kind of machine you are using so as you can see here it's not looking bad so let's try it with two and also with two and now we just click on catch because we don't run it directly in viewport so we just click on catch scene so let's see as you can see here I, before i just catch some scenes we just delete that everything okay we're going to delete it and create a new folder test and click on save let's take a little time so i come back after catch simulation catching simulation is finished so so after the catch that's the result we get from our catch so it's pretty bright so let's change something from the and i don't know what's going on there ah uh, okay something going on there but let's just turn off this one let's see okay that's it so it's without magic bullet so let's change magic bullet effect let's add something else so, okay so first of all we just delete that and refresh it so now we can see better what we're getting okay that's the same one before one i think that's looking great but we don't like that shutter trick. we just turn it off like that and in color we just add give them more color and like more contrast so that's looking good and as you can see here that's what we can do with that so in future i will show you how we can create bunch of explosion and other stuff with that pyro and you can also use it inside what we say volume builder so i will show you what i mean if we just put it in volume builder so it's calculating and as you can see here you are going to see we just turn off this as you can see here we see something going on here so we just change the voxel size of our volume builder and just add two so okay i think it's really high to it okay so that's kind of effect we get with volume builder so just press shift c and change the volume size voxel size so because i think i just crank it really high okay i don't know what's going on okay so that's looking great by the way so okay it's turn up and down and you can create some cool effect with that okay uh, okay that's looking good let's take a little back 
okay change the voxel size it's a little bit high so let's change it to a 5 so 5 is looking good and let's add a volume measure okay so that's kind of result we get with volume builder so if we just add a smooth stf smooth so let's see what's going on <laughs> okay everything is vanished so that's what you can do with an affordly new update so it's really really awesome and now Sanma 4 is getting better and better day by day so i hope you like this video and thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you don't so make sure you just like and tell your friend also about that thank you